If you're a dividend investor or you want to follow along on a journey of 500 stocks in a dividend portfolio, feel free to hit the big red button. And now, let's get into the video. This is the weekly summary starting on the 20th of September. So it wasn't bad at all. There's a considerable amount of payments and at least one dividend payment every day. You know, I can't complain at all. Pretty good. A couple of, uh, for anybody who's new, hasn't seen these before. If something is in black, it means it's the same dividend payment that I received last time or it's the first one that I've received. Pink is a demerger. Blue is a return of capital. Green means it means it raised its dividend by something, and red means it was lower than the last one. And orange is a bonus dividend. And these figures here are per share. It's not how much I received. But it was a pretty good week. Not bad at all. 41 payments. Three of them raised their dividends. Three returns of capital. There was, unfortunately, five that paid a lower dividend than the last one I received, but still not bad. There was one bonus dividend, and there was two demergers, and I think a demerger is paid as an ordinary, it's the same as receiving an ordinary dividend. But a demerger, I just found out recently, is when a company figures that two separate entities would be more profitable than having like a, a group or a pairing, or a corporation, you could call it. It'd be like splitting one bank that's, say, it was headquartered in one country, splitting it into two banks that are headquartered in two different countries because each of the individuals would be more profitable than the single. And for anyone who doesn't know, return of capital does not have a withholding tax and it's not a taxable event, meaning that you don't pay any tax on your returns of capital at the end of the year. It actually comes out of the amount of money that you've got in a stock. If you have 10 euro in a stock and you get a 1 euro return of capital, you still have a 10 euro position, but you've now received 1 euro of that back to you tax free, which you can send off on its own little working journey. Yeah, and I won't put up any of the details in the description of these companies, because if you want to know anything about them in particular, these will be found in each video during the last week. And if you are searching them, if you go into playlists and look for September dividend payments, the date will be the first line of the description. So you should be able to see it as you're scrolling through all the videos, but the titles are how many dividend payments I received. So it might be a little bit confusing, but just look at the first line of the description. But that's it for this week. Pretty good week. Wednesday was quite dull, but one is always better than nothing. So I'll see you all tomorrow.